back on the Tennessee River. <laughs> I'm paddling out to where I want to go fishing. Figure I make a little intro along the way. Show some of the beautiful sceneries. I got a pole over here and another spare one behind me with some other stuff tied to it. That's right, I said pole. Stick. Cane. Switch. Either way, I'm dragging one of those half and half deceivers behind me. Just on the off chance, you know. I'm Joe. That looks like a likely spot. Pull in over here and try out some dry flies. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave my trolling rod out there just drifting around underneath me now. I know that I got like a seven foot leader on that or so, so I can watch my graph and make sure that it's just kind of hovering around down there. But if I leave, if I leave that line so that it's touching the water and my leader's right at the water like that. I don't know about how deep I am. Meanwhile, see what I can do with these. I got two little dry flies. One's kind of like a yellow foam hoppery looking one, and the other one's like this white little fly. Greedy little thing. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Nice little guy. Nice little guy. <laughs> my back fly on my back swing. some dry flies. I know they like white. Alright, 
back in business. Just one fly this time though. They all come back. Greedy, greedy. Whoop. <laughs> Fly bluegill fishing. Now that I got a couple of fish under my belt, I'm going to switch out from that little dry fly to this hopper dropper. Got a big old popper and a clouser. Try to up the ante. Day's changing on me a little bit. It's starting to get a little cloudy, a little bit windy. I think it probably might rain even. I'll try to do is set up my next drift so that the wind's helping me out, blow me back down the bay. First I gotta battle it while I try fishing these lakey looking spots. noon. I think I'm going to head on back to the house. I never catch nothing around noon. Go get some food. Just count it as a great day out on the lake. Thanks for watching. <laughs>